What is up everybody? Shad here with another driving talk. Uh, while we wait for the car to warm up, um, just want to give a shout out to Lethal. They added a number of new items to their apparel, this hoodie being one of them, and it is really comfortable, really soft. It's not for freezing temps, but oh well. Um, and then the, their hats. So, if you want some cool merch and you represent Lethal, grab some. Uh, today's story is actually going to kind of continue off of the last one. Uh, this one is the craziest police encounter that I've personally ever had. And crazy isn't really the proper term. Uh, insane is more like it. Uh, it was very scary. <laughs> and um, this happened when I was living in Florida. Uh, two of my friends, I uh, won't mention any names. Uh, one was a guy, one was a girl. Uh, well, let me get started and then we'll get to the story. Seat. Oh, and yeah, just recently, uh, this vehicle I bought new in 2016 and the battery finally crapped out on me uh, five and a half years later. So pretty lucky. Uh, got a new one. Car, car's running better. Uh, yeah, so let's get on. Off to the side, I think it was on the phone, 
So he's yelling at us and then a friend comes over, he's trying to talk to the police officer. Uh, he, he takes all of our licenses and obviously he's running them. He got, I think, two or three other officers to the scene. Uh, one guy was talking to her and he was basically telling her like, you're going to jail, blah, blah, blah. She's like in tears. And you know, we're all worried because we don't know what's gonna happen. And and after he talked to her, you know, stuck us back together. The guy that took our licenses, was in, he was in his car for a while. And um, he was, you know, running our names and everything. And it was, I was probably the second most worried um, because the first guy was telling her, you know, she could go to jail for a very long time. It'll ruin her life and all this. And while that guy was, you know, checking our licenses, I had just been in a situation where I had gotten pulled over in Florida and I was contesting the ticket, but I never heard anything back. And it's, it's kind of like a theme for me. Um, I never heard back about like a court date or anything. And then I had recently found out that they had suspended my license in Florida. So, yeah, I could have been in big trouble, but I guess nothing came up or the situation had been, you know, resolved because he didn't say anything about that. Uh, he gave us all of our licenses back and he, he gave us the sternest, longest talking to I have probably ever had. I've had talks growing up as a kid, you know, with my dad, you know, when you get in trouble, you gotta have that long talk with him. No, this was worse. It felt like 10 hours, but it was only like 45 minutes. I mean, 45 minutes is a long time, but it felt like 10 hours. And he, he basically said, you know, I get it, you guys are trying to do pictures, but how do I know Speaking to me, I wasn't robbing her and she was holding me, you know, at gunpoint to keep me from doing something. Like, he doesn't know. And also, it was worrisome because when he came barreling into the area, I was on the ground. I, I couldn't see it. I could only hear a car and I saw her reaction and I didn't want to move because, you know, the camera that's in my hand not gonna know what that is if I turn around quickly so I'm frozen on the ground like uh, until he tells me to move and then I moved and you know this is just a camera and you know he didn't really do anything um, act like he was afraid or anything it was just you know he sees a gun he doesn't know what's going on so he comes in and I mean he was really cool uh, all the officers ended up being cool they were really they really just you know scared the crap out of us and they accomplished that they scared the living crap out of us but uh, uh they let us all go no tickets no arrest no nothing and, and then it was funny while we were st standing waiting um he just blurts out you know Who, who's got the silver car which it was me and you know, i raised my hand it was me and he goes is there anything in that car i should know about and i'm like no there's nothing He's like, oh, well, I smell marijuana. And I'm like, officer, I don't smoke. So if you smell marijuana, you can search the car because you're not going to find anything. And he didn't do anything. But that was just funny uh, that he said that. And uh, so, you know, they gave us all of our licenses back, said, you know, leave immediately. So you know, we all left. Um, it's something we all didn't talk about for a while because, you know, it had just happened. But now... We all look back on it and we kind of, you know, laugh at the situation, uh, even though it, it could have turned out very bad. Uh, but it's one of those things where you look back on and you're like, woo, close call. Uh, but anyway, so we left Miami. Um, my friend and I, she she went home because, you know, she was just like, you know, done with the day. She's like, I'm, I'm going home. But myself and my friend, you know, we went out to eat. 
and after we ate, you know, he felt bad. He apologized to us all because it it was kind of, it was all of our ideas, but you know, he felt bad the most. So you know, he he apologized a lot. Um, but you know, after we went out to eat, he went home. I went home. As soon as I walked into the door, I get a call from him, like, uh, one of the officers just called me, and he's, he still had my ammunition, and he said, um, you know, if, if I want it, I have to come get it by the time he, you know, clocks out, or else it's going in as evidence, which would start up a whole new line of crap. So, he asked me if I could come get him.
guys know the deal. Always courtesy rev. Take care.